YouTube channel. In this video, we are presenting a comparison test of various big brand reflective sheeting materials for grow rooms. You will learn how efficient each reflective material is in this setup, so you can optimize your own grow room. The 600 watt high pressure sodium grow light setup is established as a benchmark for grow light performance, so we will use this setup to test the reflective materials to see what product is the most effective and efficient. The HPS system has been hung 600 millimeters or two feet high above the grow area so that plenty of light is reflected off the side walls. The test has been carried out in a grow tent environment. This means any light that goes outside the grow area is reflected back in by the reflective materials under test. To simulate the plant canopy, the bottom of the tent is divided by a grid into squares. To determine the level of useful light reaching the plant canopy, we measure the light intensity in the photosynthetically active radiation or power light range in each square to get an overall picture of the light distribution. The information can then be input into a power intensity map so we can visually evaluate the quality of light distribution across the grow area. We start with the tent walls on their own and use this test as a baseline. We then add the reflective materials under test to the four walls of the tent. We repeat the test under the same conditions each time. The only difference being the reflective sheeting used. The result of the test for the tent walls on its own is a baseline of 638 micromoles per meter squared of power light. The silver mylar and diamond diffusion deliver an incredible 25% more light to the grow area. The white mylar result is almost the same as the tent walls on their own, and the orca grow film is in the middle. When ordered by performance, the silver mylar is the best for efficiency but generates hotspots. The uniformity measure is a ratio of the highest power measurement recorded divided by the lowest and indicates how evenly the light is distributed. A lower number is better. You can see that the diamond diffusion is the best performer in both categories. In addition, the silver mylar not only generates hotspots but creates an unpleasant environment to work in due to the wave and shiny surface. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more useful videos on Growlight Setup.